Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for organic Bible study. We like to call this the Bible Bistro, just that little wayside cafe on the side of the road that, you know, has that food that you just can't find anywhere else, that mom and pop place. That's Daily Dose Radio. It's five minutes a day, five days a week, studying the Psalms verse by verse. And we love to call this the Bible Bistro because you can just come in here, grab your cup of something warm or something cold, whatever you need, and sit down with your Bible open and Five minutes, we do a little study in the Psalms, and we're just going through the Psalms verse by verse every day, Monday through Friday, and studying the Psalms. It takes us about four years, something like that, to get through it all. I hope you'll join me for the entire ride, four years. And um, today we're in Psalm 57, verses 8 and 9. Now, yesterday we we ended, actually, with that seventh verse. Now, let me read that again. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise. I mentioned yesterday about the nature of the fixed heart. David's not moving off his confession. It doesn't matter what anybody does. It doesn't matter what they say to him. It doesn't matter that they have teeth like spears and arrows, and it doesn't matter that they have a tongue like a sword. It doesn't matter that they're set on fire or that they prepare a net or that they dig a pit. None of that matters because David is fixed in his faith. God will be the one to deliver him or not. Either way, God is exalted. He is exalted high above the heavens. And David says, I'm going to praise you. Why? Because he's that kind of God. He's worthy of praise. He is exalted above the heavens. He is above all the concerns and cares of men and all their tribulations. Now, he loves and condescends to men, especially in Christ Jesus. But ladies and gentlemen, don't think for a moment that he is anything like us because he's not. He loves us, but he's not like us. He is far and above anything that we can even imagine. He is exalted above the heavens. And David says, for that reason, now I'm going to give you praise. I will sing and give praise. Now, here's 8 and 9. Awake up, my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee. O Lord, among the people, I will sing unto thee among the nations. So in the midst of Saul persecuting him, because that's the context here, right? We know our history. This is the cave. David was there. He didn't kill Saul. This is the do not destroy Psalm. And he could have, but he didn't. Why? Because he trusts in God. He's not going to take matters into his own hands. And so now he's come to say, it doesn't matter what men do. It doesn't matter what they say. I'm going to praise you. And this entire piece, beginning in 8 going to 9, gives us even more information about his praise and his intention to praise. Awake up, and my glory, awake, psaltery and harp. So he's going to glorify God. He's not going to be depressed. You know, sometimes when things are going bad for us, when we have an enemy that, that persecutes us, we want to be depressed and sad and uh, melancholy. You know, the melancholies just take over and ruin us. But not David. He says, no, I'm going to wake up my glory. I'm going to glorify in the Lord. I'm going to wake up my psaltery. I'm going to wake up my harp. And with those instruments, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake up early and we're going to praise the Lord, all of us together, psaltery, harp, and me. And my glory is going to be directed to the Lord. And he says, I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. So he's not afraid to confess his praise. And these people are the people that he's been talking about. Among the sons of men who have the sharp teeth and the sharp tongue and all the rest. I will sing unto thee among the nations. And here we have the glory of the gospel being foreshadowed here in Psalm 57. The gospel being spread out among the nations that Jesus saves. I hope you'll join me again next time as we look at verses 10 and 11 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.